before uh, one year and now from now two years from now i made a, a, a video about the first classical four albums of burzum of burzum of this project of varg and now i come to speak about also about the other albums uh, varg as like with the project burzum he made 12 albums until today today full-length albums let's say some of them they are metal black metal and metal and some of them they are dark ambient or uh, dungeon synth call it how you want uh, also varg is one of the fathers of the dungeon synth together with the first albums of mortis and together with uh, the albums of summoning from austria uh, so call it how how you want uh, and now i want to speak and make a video about worst to best about all these 12 albums together here also i will not speak about varg about his uh, anti-semitic and neo-nazi beliefs the, of course i am i am 100 percent against of course uh, i spoke about it even more in the first video and also i, I don't come here to speak um, more about the four classical albums you can listen to the first video if you want but here i will speak uh, let's say about the whole uh, uh, situation about the whole albums all together and afterwards maybe to make uh, also another taxonomy first of all the metal albums and afterwards uh, uh, the dark ambient albums so let's find out in the 12th place for me will come the ah before that i will start i have to say that i have two combinations the first combination is this combination of 2005 drogen rarities and the second combination is this from the depths of darkness of 2011 here he recorded, re recorded some of uh, the first songs of him, something like that. So now let's start. Okay, in the 12th place, the last place, I will put Thumlenian Mysteries of 2020, the last album of him. Uh, this album is dark ambient, yes, but um, most of it you can understand that there are some ideas from here and there with not uh, a real uh, um, I, big idea be behind the album um, something also special here you have uh, two songs here maybe and also this is the 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 even the uh, the album that is the most uh, long length album of burzum yeah it's double album so and some people they say that there are some ideas from the past from uh, uh, the from the youtube of when, when, he, when he had his channel of youtube in youtube through Lillian perspective some uh, musical ideas of the background is also here some people they say about it Skin Traveler, the song Skin Traveler is one song that is, the idea is also inside Philosophy. It's something else also, if I'm not sure, the song The Great Sleep in the beginning is very close to the national anthem of Israel, Atikva. How it's going on, why it's going on, maybe it's, uh, uh, it's not something that uh, Varg uh, knew about it. <laughs> let's find out okay but the album you can understand is not really a good dark ambient album now in the 11th place for me will come another ambient album of him by the name soul austin money Ves vestan yes Excuse me if I, I if I'm kill the names, the Norwegian names of these albums. Uh, 
a good dark ambient that zoom synth album. I like it, but I prefer some of them even more. It came out when? In 2013. Now, the next place, in the 10th place, The Ways of Yo. In the Ways of Yo, I like it so much. It's a very good dark ambient or dark zone synth album. Came out in 2014. Now, uh, in the ninth place, another Dungeon Synth album, the first that he, with, that he, it was only Dungeon Synth or only Dark Ambient. This album by the name uh, Doughty Bards, if I prefer it well, of 1997. This album, it, it could be black metal, but he, uh, he said that he didn't, he does, he didn't have uh, the uh, the equipment and the and and the organs to play black metal inside uh, the prison, so he played either with what he had, and for this season is dark ambient. Okay. Now in the eighth place, the next ambient al dark ambient album of him or Dungeon Sins, uh, the album by the name Hlitz. Zalf, something like that. Here I killed it, nailed it at all. Came out in 1999, and for many for many years, this was the last album of him. Now, these two albums, uh, together with Philosophy, um, they came out when he was inside prison. And now. In uh, the seventh place, a very good album, but many people they didn't like it, unfortunately. Umskiptar. Umskiptar came out in 2012, and this is the last metal album of him. Maybe not exactly so black metal, but metal, of course. It's a little bit more Bathorical, Bathory style of the epic period of Bathory. A little, a little bit vol folkies, but is it is it is metal. It's a metal album, and it's very nice. In the sixth place, his album Fallen came out in 2011. Also a little bit more folkies, um, with Bathory influences of the epic period of 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 the, of, uh, of Gorthon but also a very very good uh, album and now in the fifth place the, resurre the resurrection of black metal Burzum uh, the album Bellus came out in 2010 and this is a real good black metal album after so many years that uh, uh, we did listen something about him, and this is also the first album afterwards that he came out from the prison. And now, the fourth classical albums. In the fourth place, as I said in the first video, the, la the first debut album, Burzum, also together with uh, the first, uh, Burzum came out in 1992, Together with, uh, uh, also with, here we have the EP, the first EP, Aske, of 1993. In the third place, the second, his second album, Dead Song Engan Var. This is also a very good album. This is the first Bourjum album that I listened at all, and the second black metal album of all time that I listened. And now, about the first and the second place, I was not so sure, but I decided in the second place to put the third album of him by the name Hebe's Lisa Tar Oz, Let the Light Take Us, came out in 1994, the last album that came out before he was in prison. This is a very good album, one of the best atmospheric black metal albums, and also maybe one of the albums that is the beginning of the suicidal depressive black metal. Very, very good album. But in the first place, of course, will come the fourth album of him, 
בורזום, of בורזום, פילוסופה. Uh, he wrote it in 1993 or 1994, but came out in 1996. He was in, inside the prison when it came out. Uh, Philosophy is the masterpiece of the masterpiece of Burzum. Atmospheric black metal together with dark ambient and dungeon synth the, in the best way. In the best way. So this is. The whole picture about the whole albums of him, and uh, if now I'm coming to speak only about the metal albums, okay. In the last place, uh, Humskiptar, not because it's a, a, a bad album. In the ne ne next place, Fallen. Next place, of course, Belus. Next place for me, Burzum the, and Aske. Next place, Detsom Engan Var. Next place, uh, Hivis Lissetar Os. And of course, in the first place, Philosophem. This is about the metal albums of him now about the all the albums that they are only dark ambient or that's on synth let's find out yes in the first play no let's start from uh, from worst to best thulerian mysteries first of all in the last place Sol Austen Mani Vestan in the next place. The Ways of Yor in the next place. Doughty Balds in the next place. And the first place about only the Dark Abbey and Dudgeon Synth albums of him, Hlitzkzalf. That for me, this is the best ambient album of him. So, this is it about the whole discography of Bargain Burzum, 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 from, is how, uh, from Israel and from Jerusalem. This is really an irony. From Israel and from Jerusalem, stay metal and stay heavy.